I've been asked to speak uh, one sentence on the LTT. I think that it, the immediate debanning of the LTT is imperative. The, the international community says that there is no military solution to this conflict. I agree. But then, if there are no military solution, there have got to be a political solution. Whom are they wanting the Tamils to negotiate with on, the, on their behalf? Whom do they, the Sri Lankan government is going to negotiate with whom? Who? With Karuna? Who? It can't be. It can't be. Karuna. He is a murderer. There is no question about that. It can't be billion. No, it has got to be the LTT, the legitimate representatives of the Tamil people. And if there is any doubt about that, can we have a referendum in the north and the east to ask the Tamil people, not with a gun in their, your hand, just to ask the Tamil people whether they support the LTT or any other breakaway group. And you will find that 99.9% .9 of them support the LTT because they are the only people who are prepared to lay down their lives for our people. This is a democracy and I want to keep it that way. Not for my sake, not for the sake of the Tamils, but for Australia, of which I have been a citizen. I don't want this country to get into bed or into the drain with a brutal fascist dictatorship with Sri Lanka under my cousin, Shandika Kumar Tunga, and under this brutal fascist dictator, murderous uh, Rajapaksa and his three brothers. We will not give in. That's for sure. They can trust the Tamil Tigers, but they are making a mistake if they think that the Tamil struggle is the same as the Tamil Tigers. If the Tamil Tigers are crushed, which I don't think they will be, even more virulent and more extreme than the Tamil Tigers will come forward. When I was a medical student in Cambridge and in London, the British banned the IRA, and then what happened? There were bombs exploding all over Fleet Street and Oxford Street. The IRA was setting off bombs. And what did the British government do? They banned the IRA. And what happened to the bombs? The bombs increased. And then they said, we will talk with the IRA. And the IRA told them to go to hell, because the banned organization cannot talk with the government. So they de-banned the IRA. And the result is that we now got the Irish Republic. And until they deban the LTT, which is the military arm of the Tamil people, there will be no peace or justice in Sri Lanka. The main villain in the peace is not President Rajapaksa, but the minister of the, the spokesman of defense or whatever he calls himself, Gotabe Rajapaksa. He was the man who was running a 7-Eleven store in Los Angeles when I last met him. There's nothing wrong about it. Wrong about running a 7-Eleven store, but you cannot run a 7-Eleven store today and then start running a country the next day. It just does not work that way. You may or may not know this. I was the distinguished speaker at the Canadian Congress on a genocide last month. And I said that what he was doing by bombing the, the hospitals is a violation of the Geneva Convention 1 and 4. There are no point in reading the Geneva Convention to a fellow who was running a 7-Eleven store. He would be able to get spell the word Geneva Convention. But it is for us. And as for that other dictator, the Army General, Sarat Fonseca. You know, when we were children, the people at the top of the class did engineering, medicine, uh, dentistry, etc. The fellows at the bottom of the class uh, joined the Army. Well, the damn, the finest example of that is what we see in Sri Lanka. This brutal fascist dictator appointed as the army general, he has now got into politics as he is making political statements. This is unacceptable. And uh, on my, I'm on my way to London to try and persuade the British to charge Gotabe Rajapaksa and uh, Sarat Ponseka with crimes against humanity. And we should get not some closer in the United States, but we should get an Australian, uh, Sir Jeffrey Robertson, who has just recently been knighted, and I know who he very well. He's a QC, Queensland, uh, Queen's Council, he's an Australian who is now resident in the UK. He will appear for us and charge these blackguards and murderers and take them to the International Court of Justice. One thing that has come out of this is that anything Tamil in Sri 
Lanka is there to be destroyed. That is the lesson that we learned from Gilinochi. Gilinochi was a vibrant town built by the Tamil Tigers and the Tamil people. Not least of it, people from New South Wales, where a hospital was being closed down. And we took the entire beds and the lot and we trans and transported it to Kilinochi, where we set up one of the finest hospitals that I have seen. You don't need to take my word for it. You need to get into Google and type Stocky, S-T-O-K-K-E, -K -K -E, Professor Christian Stocky, who is a professor of bio sociology and social geography, and see his description of Tamil Elam, the, the evolving state of Tamil Elam. It is that evolving state that has been destroyed by this barbaric, ruthless regime. And one thing said, what it shows is that anything built by the Tamils is going to be destroyed by this and other regimes, including that of my cousin, Chandrika Mandarbaka Kumar Tungu. And therefore, the only solution you can think of, if there were any options, there can't be now. The only solution, and we got to press for it, is Tamil Elam and the EU are applying to uh, the UK, whether I have been deported from there or not, I couldn't give a damn. If I am deported, I will take the next flight home. But I am going to urge that the British government lift the ban on the Tamil Tigers, because we have got nobody else to negotiate with. The international community is suffering from a degree of hypocrisy, which I have yet not met. They say there is no military solution to the conflict. Of course there is. There is no military solution to any political conflict. There never has been. I have been around in, on this planet for 77 years. I can't think of a single mil a militant conflict that has been settled by armed force. And therefore you've got to negotiate. So the, the international community says negotiate. Negotiate with whom? Negotiate with bloody Corona, who lined up 600 police. Let me remind you that 600 Sinhalese policemen of my ethnic group surrendered to Corona. And what did he do? He lined them up and shot them. If that's not genocide, God knows what it is. It's crimes against humanity. And I refer you to Amnesty International report. I've been a member of Amnesty International since day one. When Amnesty International was bloated in 1961, I was a new, newly passed out doctor. And I joined Peter Benenson in floating Amnesty International. And I've been a, a borrower of Amnesty International ever since. Now, Amnesty International came out strongly and said that Karuna's appointment as a member of parliament, for God's sake, this murderer being allowed as a member of parliament is a reflection. He's now a minister. Not that it makes a damn of difference because there are more ministers than there are people who have been elected to Rajapaksa's government. There are 107 ministers but only 105 members of parliament. Uh, that is arithmetic that uh, 7-Eleven uh, doorkeeper can probably answer. But it's not been a doctor of medicine can do. I don't have enough mathematics in me for that. Thank you very much. And I hope that this will be a peaceful struggle and that the final goal of speaking to someone in the Australian government uh, does eventuate. I'm going back to Brisbane today. I'm going to Kevin Rudd's office, which is only about 200 yards from my home. I gather he's in Canberra. I don't care where he is, but I'm going to leave him a note that I have. I support this struggle. I support it strongly and that we have a just cause to admit international observers to Sri Lanka. That's all we ask. We admit to Sri Lanka to look at the the plight of the Tamil civilian population. I don't know whether you are aware that the Tamil women are being rounded up and being raped by the people in the armed forces. And I know for a fact, because all my students are doctors there, Excuse the Tamil me. women who are pregnant are being yes. aborted and the girls are being sterilized. How do I know that? I got jolly good evidence which I have presented on a DVD. I have burned 12 DVDs which I will make available to the Socialist Alliance and to you people. Just send me an email and I'll send it to you for free. I, I am 77. I don't know how long I'm going to be on this planet. I'm not going to take all this money and walk off into the grave. Uh, so don't worry about it. You don't need to pay me. You just let me know that you want my DVDs and I'll send it to you. Uh, my name, of course, you know, it's Dr. Brian said, uh, I'm such a notorious character that I'm sure that if you type Google, uh, you'll find it. And long live Tamil Thank you.